So we don't know the new name or what the logo will look like, but we do know when the first set of home games will be for the Grand Rapids Jive. This is the first season for the team as the NBA G League affiliate of the Denver Nuggets. Team, team owner Steve Jabaro is here now to talk about the upcoming season. Steve, great to see you. How are you doing on this rainy Friday? Yeah, Michelle, good. Good to see you. Other than the weather, everything's, uh, everything's looking up. Yeah, I mean, having this schedule, this is a sign that things are moving in the right direction. How excited are you to have it come together? Very. You know, it's, it's interesting. It's unfortunate, obviously, that the COVID uh, took a little steam away from the team. Um, and then, you know, the, the, the kind of dooming uh, end of the affiliation with the Pistons, I think, you know, the, the diehards knew. Um, and so we haven't had a ton to talk about in a couple of years. So it's super exciting that we, we have some dates. Uh, we have something to look forward to, something to build up. Um, and so it's been really good for the organization just reactivating and reacclimating ourselves uh, with our fans in the Grand Rapids area. Well, one thing the fans certainly looking forward to is the name and the logo. So where does that stand? Yeah, so we've been working hard with Denver um, on, uh, on what kind of our, our new uh, color scheme logo um, and uh, brand sort of look like. Uh, we're close. So I, I think it's safe to say uh, probably the few days following July 4th, we'll, uh, we'll announce. Uh, obviously, we'll give everybody a heads up. But uh, I've seen some of the, the mock-ups. It looks really good. Obviously, it, it ties in closely with Denver and, and tries to build on kind of the, the two communities together. So, um, you know, just another uh, something for us to look forward to as an organization. Yeah, absolutely. So we saw Ben Wallace representing the Pistons as they secured that number one draft pick. So talk about um, having him as part of the ownership. How instrumental has he been? Yeah, he, he's been he's been fantastic. He, he's an incredible human being, and, and he, he fits really well with our organization. In that, um, you know, his career, if the G League would have been around when he was a player coming out of college, he definitely would have been a player in this league. Um, you know, he went overseas, he went undrafted, and so uh, from that standpoint, he's super relatable um, from our players. Um, and then, you know, from my side on the business uh, on the business side, it's it's cool to have somebody that's been through it all. Um, and he can help kind of coach me up on, on what creates more synergy on the basketball side and, and uh, what, what to do, what not to do. Um, and and it, it's been really, really good. So he's, he's, uh, he's the best, and, and it's very exciting to see, uh, you know, his Hall of Fame nomination and, and everything that's, uh, that's starting to kind of come his way. Yeah, completely. Okay, so first home game set for December 4th at the Delta Plex. Any new features fans can look forward to? Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna roll out a couple theme nights uh, later this summer. I think we're pretty excited. There's a, a lot of really cool synergies with Denver. They're super active um, and they really want to be involved. And so uh, we'll continue pushing some some fun theme nights um, and trying to create you know the best atmosphere for basketball and then for just entertainment. Um, and so I think fans can look forward to uh, some pretty exciting nights this, this season. All right. Well, we'll see you again next when you announce that name. Great to see you, Steve. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. See ya.